All righty. So as promised from my Instagram story, construction is starting on the mountain. Now, I realized afterwards how kind of contradicting that was because construction is already taking place inside the mountain for 2025. But visual construction is what I meant by my post is occurring now. So as you're going to see in this clip, the control points are being set up all over the tunnel leading into the mountain to prepare for its expansion. So over the next three months, okay, the goal is three months that Wonderland is going to expand that tunnel to be big enough for a coaster to launch inside there. Um, so a lot of questions that we had are now answered. So why is Guardian's track piece removed? Well, it's obvious. Um, why is Extreme Sky Flyer being removed? Well, it's obvious. And more on that too. There'll be a second video with more information on that as well. So with that being said, over Extreme Sky Flyer, they are getting the land ready for a crane to come in. So you can see it right here. They've ripped up all the electrical too. So if you look closely, you can see the electrical being ripped up. This land is being prepped for coaster construction as well. So lots of work going on. Um, it's going to be a really big project. I'm hearing rumblings that this is going to be Canada's Wonderland's largest investment coaster-wise. Um, so that's really exciting. Again, that could come down to just the cost of the projects. Don't expect some like 6,000 foot long coaster. But at the end of the day, it's still really exciting. I've started flying from over in my Tundra Twister spot of land, plot of land that I flew when Tundra Twister was building. And that seems to be the best place to see um, construction. So you guys will see that very shortly. But um, yeah, so if you look closely, you can see that little surveying tool. It's called a GPS surveyor. Um, what they do is they go in and they set control points. And if you remember from my previous video, I wanted to teach you guys about that because it has significance. When you see a control point going in, it usually means construction is right about to begin. Usually, like we saw at Front Gate, it could be a couple of days. And from what I know of this project, it is about to begin. Um, so they're going to rip out that tunnel and widen it. And then they're going to rip out a bit of the mountain um, as well. Control points are installed on the actual mountain service surface as well. So that's really exciting. Definitely, <laughs> uh, it's just a lot. Um, but let's head on over to Front Gate before we get over to the Tundra Twister plot of land. So over at Front Gate, um, the, the buildings are starting to get their roofing on them. It looks really great. The concrete company, the company that will be doing the footings and work for the coaster are now done at Front Gate. So to me, that confirms that Front Gate will not be getting its two-part reno this year. I just burped. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Um, so it does confirm to me that the second part of the reno will be coming in 2025. So that definitely is exciting that that news is confirmed, at least to me. So I wouldn't say it's confirmed, confirmed as if it's going to happen. But what I had heard in the rumor mill, it seems to be true. Um, but yeah. So over at, um, this is the Tundra Twister plot of land. So uh, over here, you can see, if you look closely when I zoom in a little more, um, my drone had <laughs> almost malfunctioned here, actually. So it's a lot of still footage. I edited out a lot of it, too. It had, um, what, what do you call it? I lost, like, signal with the controller for some reason. And it said, like, metal interference. And I realized it was because of my car. So lately, I've been flying in my car. And I've noticed my signal has been a little off. Um, but, yeah, I didn't know metal affected the antenna signal to my drone that much. So I panicked real hard because I couldn't move my drone. At the end of the day, the drone comes home on its own. Um, it's a really expensive drone, so it would still come home. But yeah, then I got control. So here we are. If you look closely, you'll see the orange line of control points over the tunnel right there. And then he's drawing some secondary ones over there. So again, he's going to be drawing the boundary. Um, and then construction crews are going to come in and rip, rip, rip apart. So that'll be really exciting to see because that's going to confirm a lot. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? So I want to bring up a really important fact right now. Okay, pay attention. Where are those control points in accordance to the current outline of that tunnel? They don't look very wide, do they? And the control points should be the boundary. So I want to bring up an interesting point of view. Okay, and keep this in your memory bank. Right now, that tunnel is not wide enough for a wing coaster and not wide enough for an invert. Um, it looks just wide enough for maybe a two seater across. Um, so keep that in your memory bank because at this current moment with those current control points, 
um, it's not looking too wide. Now, again, when I go fly today on Tuesday, I could see something different. Over at Thunder Run, work is, maintenance work is continuing. Um, again, it is rumored that Thunder Run will be receiving some upgrades for the 2024 season. Um, I haven't seen any evidence of that. Um, but yeah, Clockworks is also having its maintenance done. Nothing too exciting, don't worry. Um, but yeah, in total, not too much else to talk about. Nothing else around the park. Vikings Rage is obviously having its like complete overhaul um, done. From what I'm understanding, it's having complete the drive tire area and motors completely brand new. Um, but yeah, Leviathan has one train on the track. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing. But yeah, nothing too else. Um, a lot of theming pieces have arrived um, for Splashworks in behind Whitewater Canyon. Um, so we'll be keeping an eye on that if it's for Splashworks or if it's white for Whitewater Canyon. Um, and yeah, Extreme Sky Flyer, all the electricals removed and front gate. Yeah, not too much. It's it's moving along, but again, it's at the phase where it's going to look like not a lot of work is going on, but a lot of work is going on. Again, it's hard to tell visually when a project gets to a certain point. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's construction update um, and have a good one. Bye.